An apple a day keeps the doctor away. But one of the most efficient ways to keep the dentist at bay is a state-of-the-art electric toothbrush. The battery cases start out life as millions of tiny plastic granules. These are melted down into a sticky liquid and then injected into molds where they harden into the shape of the casing. A computer scans it to make sure there aren't any flaws. If there is even a tiny imperfection, water could get in and damage the electrics which will go inside later. These are the brush heads. They're bald at the moment, but they're about to get some extensions. The bristles are made from a man-made fibre called polyamide. The different colours indicate the thickness of the bristle. Thick ones go in the middle of the head, and on the edge they use thinner, softer ones, so as not to damage gums. A head stuffed with bristles in just a second. In slow motion, you can see what's going on. They use a silvery wire to hold the bristles in place. The bristles are folded around a tiny piece of wire which is then jammed into the holes. The head is rotated so a machine can fill a whole head without moving an inch. The brushes have got a full head of bristles but they're a bit rough around the edges, so they set off for a short back and sides. A razor-sharp blade cuts away any straggly ends, leaving the bristles all the right length. Finally, they blunt the bristles' sharp edges. Across the factory floor, the neck of the brush is being assembled. A light sensor tells this machine when a metal pin is in place and it quickly slots on a plastic cover which will hold the head. It's then blasted with rays of UV light. This kills any germs and leaves the plastic completely sterile. A computer scans it to double check no germs have made it through. Next, the necks are given their heads. So far, the casing is hollow, but soon a motor and gearbox will put the electric into electric toothbrush. On the left is a gearbox and on the right a motor. A machine clamps them together and locks them in place. Then a worker welds them together with a rechargeable battery. After he checks that the circuit is connected, the electrical components are fitted into the casings. A plastic stopper seals the battery in with a simple twist. The brush heads spin around at a dizzying 40,000 revs per minute and for good measure they gently rock back and forth. A quality controller gives them a final once over. After the necks and heads have been slotted onto the bodies, some of the batch go off for testing. They'll be scrubbing false teeth for the next 320 hours. That's well over five years' worth of dental hygiene. If the test has passed, then the whole batch is deemed okay and sent out with five-year guarantees. 
As long as they don't get dropped down the loo, they'll probably be brushing for a lot longer.